Exposing your weaknesses exposes God's steadiness, his truth, his loyalty, and his power. I am in the thick of motherhood with small children, and it is so sexy. That was sarcasm. Motherhood right now is anything but. The problem isn't my kids, it's really me. I'm a perfectionist. I want to do things right and well every time. This mindset has inadvertently led me to encounter a few areas that I have been just faking it till I make it. For me, I wanted to be a mom who did all the things right for her kids in all areas. As I have learned, I can't be everything even though I want to be everything for them. Even in life outside of motherhood, I was trying and striving and reaching for things that would never be strengths of mine. I listened to a podcast a while ago that said, faking it till you make it is prideful. Faking it is the opposite of humility. I felt like I got punched in the gut. I was ignoring the facts, hoping that I'll eventually figure it out, but I was wrong. Listening to that podcast made me think about those things and why I was avoiding dealing with my weaknesses. What I didn't realize was that in my effort or lack of effort to acknowledge my weaknesses in those areas, I was trying to appear strong, but I was actually looking foolish. I was lying and I was causing myself unnecessary stress. 2 Corinthians 12.5 says, But I will not boast about myself, except about my weaknesses. Even if I should boast, I would not be a fool because I would be speaking the truth. But I refrain, so no one will think more of me that is warranted. Paul is saying here that there's a lot I'm good at, but boasting about it gives me the appearance that I shouldn't have. It gives me more than I actually am. I think in the same way. Faking it gives the appearance that you've got it together and it gives you more credit than you're due. Not speaking on my weaknesses looks like, I got it under control, I'm gonna find a way to be better at this and then I won't have this weakness anymore. And that's the lie and the pride right there. Knowing I'm not good at something and trying to get control of it instead of admitting and submitting to the Lord. So I did something about it. I exposed my weaknesses and spoke to the Lord about them. I included him in that area of my life and took the step to rely on him. And then I called up my circle and admitted to them what I had been faking and trying to get control of. Don't get me wrong, this isn't easy. It was hard to say out loud. It was hard to start the conversation and explain why I had been struggling alone. It was hard to come to terms with the reality of things I'm not good at. I was convicted that I had to open myself up to the sting of my imperfections to make room for God's strength. I believe that weakness is how God teaches us. Our weaknesses and shortcomings are how he shows us his faithfulness. Our weaknesses are how we can come to rely on God, to engage in a relationship through Jesus with him and come to know his character. Psalm 8611 says, Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. Where we end, he continues, and I'm really, really grateful for that. My weaknesses really remind me that I can't do it all, and I need to be able to rely on God, rely on the one who can do it all. And really the good news is that God's track record shows that he is faithful and that is something that we can continually count on. Over and over again in the Bible, we see that God has shown up for his people and shown them that he is for them. Moses, for example, repeatedly told the Lord of all of his shortcomings and God responded and replied each time, to comfort and aid him to let him know that he would give him everything he needed to carry out what God wanted him to do. Even David wrote in Psalm, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is my strength and my portion forever. 
So when you encounter a weakness of yours, try not to run from it or avoid it or take up offense by it. Try not to beat yourself up because of what you lack, but lean into it and look to the Lord for strength. God continues past all limitations, mine and yours, and it's just another reminder that he is good. God is good.